So my service department just dropped off not one, but two different 23 models for you guys to look at. But right now we're gonna focus primarily on this new 23 destination style RV park model destination trailer. Everybody seems to call these things something different, but this is gonna be a brand new 23 Palomino Puma destination trailer. Model number 39 FKL. The FK does stand for front kitchen. This coach is gonna have four total slide outs. It's right at 41 feet length, so it does require a much bigger vehicle to safely tow. Let's take a look at some of the numbers to be exact. This model's gonna be 42 feet, one inches of total length dry weight as it sits minus the battery and the propane tanks being filled of 10,116 pounds it's going to be riding on two twin 5100 pound axles with a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,700 pounds and you got right at 1500 pounds of cargo capacity so with all those numbers being said you're going to have a hitch weight right at 1500 pounds this coach is gonna be 96 inches wide on the main box, right at 12 feet tall. It does provide you with sleeping room, possibly for six, but the way the floor plan is laid out, your kitchen's in the front, you got a dual slide out living area, king size bed in the back, but both of your slides and your living are sleeper sofa, so you can sleep upwards of six individuals comfortably. These are designed to be put in place and left for an extended period of time because they're not gonna be the easiest to tow. Just look at the front end, almost completely flat. And if that doesn't, you got this huge flat kind of an overhang acting as an enormous parachute. Unlike your regular travel trailer that's round and more aerodynamic, not so much the case with this. This will be stabilized from four sets of manual scissor jacks. You do have one on each of the four corners, but a simple upgrade is to go ahead and have them, um, your dealership that's closer to you, or maybe you can do it yourself, adding a second set along this 12 inch I-beam construction definitely will assist with keeping some of the rock and sway out. There's a shot of your rack and pinion slides, which is a nice beefier component. Fully enclosed underbelly, two 30 pound propane bottles in the front. And I get asked this question a lot, Drew, how much propane will I possibly utilize? Well, everyone's different. When it comes to these destination trailers, your heat, your cooking, and now even with this one, your on-demand water heater, will all be coming from these bigger bottles on the front. Here's a tip for you though. Once you get this thing to your destination, go ahead and call your local gas company. Have them go ahead and set a bigger bottle in place, replacing those lines straight over to your camper. That way you're not quickly replacing these as often as you will. Let's go ahead and come around to this side. Your campsite's got about a 20 foot awning. Outdoor speakers are on the slide mechanism here. Quick disconnect maybe for a outdoor grill. Maybe build a nice little patio here. Your back door. This coach is gonna be outfitted with two different air conditioners. You've got a 15K is for the main unit and it's ducked all the way throughout. Your bedroom back here is gonna be outfitted with a 13.5. It is primarily utilized to cool that back bedroom. Your sewer connections on the coach, you're gonna have quite a few. You've got three different ones. With this having a washer and dryer, you've got a connection back here for gray. Up here, your bathroom is located in the center. So you've got gray and black. And with the kitchen being in the front, you'll have a gray up there. So multiple connections for sewer lines if you decide to run this all in unison. This is an outdoor shower, which is nice when you get finished doing the dirty work from here. Good place to wash your hands, city water connection, and black tank flush. And, and un unlike your traditional travel trailer where you've got the pass-through compartment, you're not going to have that much outdoor storage, but you do have some access underneath the bed. 
So we are going to get ready and go inside, but if you like what you see, and maybe you like some additional information on it, I do provide a link down below for either a way for you to get in touch with me, or just to go back to my website and view more additional photos of each make and model that I post. This camper does have four total slide outs. You got two here in the living, one in your kitchen, plus one more all the way in the back. I'm going to kind of come in and turn around to orientate you slightly with a camper. But if you guys happen to like what you see as you go along, leave me a thumbs up. All your interactions with the video, they definitely do help. Your interior ceiling height in the Palomino model is right at seven feet tall. Your slide boxes, you've got four of them again. They're right at five foot 10. You do have carpet in some of the slides as well. Front kitchen layout with solid surface countertops. Your windows are trimmed out with a gray roller shade. And one thing about the destination trailer is you're going to get residential size appliances. This is the same fridge that you can go over to your local hardware store and replace in the event that this was to go out. Even though it is covered with warranty, I pray that you never have to utilize that warranty at all. Really big graystone oven, plenty of room for a turkey. And speaking of turkey, happy Thanksgiving to you all if you happen to be viewing the video around the Thanksgiving time. Residential size. It's not as big as the one you'll find in your house, but it's really, really close. Stainless steel microwave. That's probably a 31 inch there. Really deep cabinetry. Those are your shades. So solid surface countertops and the sink is all the way in the front. It's a single basin stainless steel undermount sink. Residential faucet with a sprayer. Underneath your kitchen sink and your pull out. So the cabinet doors and your drawer so far have been solid wood. It looks like your facial may be some false wood. And you do have LED lights inside of your kitchen. Those are rather nice, you know, to assist with maybe moving around the coach at night. I probably, I mean, I'm going to get some slack for leaving this open. So I am curious to know one thing. YouTube Analytics has been telling me lately I've got a lot of viewers in other countries like Germany and even Africa. So tell me down below maybe what state or maybe even what country you're from. All your interactions help me out more than you guys know. So let's take a look at your living area now. Again, seven foot tall ceiling in the coach, five foot 10 slide boxes. Both of these are gonna be sleeper sofas. So let's talk heating and cooling real quick. So on board, you do have an electric fireplace. It produces right at 5,000 BTUs of heat, but most of your heat will be coming through the randomly placed floor vents throughout the floor. Those are controlled from the 30,000 BTU furnace which of course all comes from those propane tanks from the front so again back to the cooling i mentioned there's two air conditioners this one's a 15k and it is ducked from your kitchen your living your bathroom and your master bedroom back there you're going to have a second air conditioner but this main purpose is just to cool that bedroom it's not going to be helping the rest of the coach out Thomas Paint Collection Furniture, these are the, excuse me, just recliners. They're not permanently attached. These can be moved anywhere you like. And during transportation, these are going to be turned around facing this direction and secured to the wall. So while this coach is in transportation, one thing to keep in mind, if you happen to be depending on the fridge to keep your stuff cold, it's not going to do so. There is no built-in inverter. These things are designed to be put in place and left for an extended period of time. This is all your controls for your tank monitoring station, your water pump, water heater, your different light switches, slide switches and awning switch. This is the slide control for your bedroom. And this is the controls for your water heater. So on demand, going back to all that propane found on the front. Let's look at your bathroom. And then we'll look at the, be the bedroom. So you do have multiple holding tanks. Your toilet is going to be a plastic foot flush toilet. This is going to be your linen closet. 34 by 34 full radius shower. 
three-piece glass door, four-piece, excuse me, right at about a seven-inch step up to get in there. This is your medicine cabinet. Plastic sink. The material here is what I call a pressed membrane countertop. It's like a hard heated plastic that's wrapped over that uh, the surface. And this is a false cabinet here. Coming back to your bedroom now. So washer and dryer on board. This is going to be a splendid brand in the closet. King size bed with the bedroom slide. And the bedroom slide gives you the most changing room. That's something that's overlooked when you're trying to find the perfect layout maybe for you and your significant other. Closet is on the back. Let me back up real quick and come this way. Stackable washer and dryer, splendid brand. Three more pullouts. If you decided to mount a television, I highly recommend having a professional do it, but you could mount upwards of maybe a 32 inch TV. Those are your TV connections. This is that second 13.5 air conditioner. It is just gonna put the air right into here. The vents are gonna be coming from that main air conditioner all the way in the front. So king size bed, you do have additional storage underneath that does lead outside. And that is the power core that is provided. 110 outlets located here and there, plus a nice little shelf. Would like to maybe have seen a little updating done with maybe a 110 and a USB outlet together. And maybe even a longer shelf for a maybe a book. CPAP machine could definitely work and fit in the corner. It'd kind of be annoying with some of the the cords that go along with it though. So a date and time of making this video, MSRP of $70,954. For pricing and availability though, be sure to check that link down below and let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe. Come see us.